With the Christmas and New Year break now over, and the various problems to do with the roof unresolved, the first task of the New Year was to have the site meeting that I'd called for. The builder's first instinct was to lock horns in conflict, but I suggested that that wasn't going to get us very far and would do neither side any favours. The builder finally made a proposal that would provide a fairly quick solution to the problems, which I agreed to subject to two conditions. It had to be both practical and aesthetically acceptable. And just as we finished our discussion, a small team of roofing contractors arrived on site. I said that I thought it was unwise to continue work on the roof until we'd agreed a way forward, but the builder disagreed and they started work. However, in the event, they only tiled the front of the roof and made no changes to the rear, which I thought was the wisest choice under the circumstances. I think the roofers, however, had expected to tile the whole roof, because having finished the front by lunchtime, they eventually left after hanging around for a further two hours, while I guess they were waiting for further orders. To my surprise, I found the builder's manager and Didier, the clerk of works, back on site again towards the end of the afternoon. Obviously there had been further discussions, and they were taking measurements. These resulted in a further bombshell, because they confirmed what I had already found myself. Not only had the builder caused the roof to be mounted slightly forward of centre in order to accommodate the difference in widths of the house's gable ends, but the roofers had compounded the problem by mounting it even further forward still by an additional three centimetres. This explained why the difference in the ridge positions of the roof trusses and the gable on the living room end of the house, as highlighted in previous videos, were so glaring. But it got even worse. Because as a result, the gaps between the roof ends and the tops of the gable blockwork were so large, the roofers had resulted to propping the roof ends up with wooden blocks. This was totally unacceptable and would have made it impossible to properly apply the crepe, the special wall plaster, when the time came, and they couldn't be left like that. So at the end of the day, the problems were getting worse, not better.